Alright guys, uh, welcome back. We're going to cross with Big Dan. I just wanted to do a uh, quick tutorial video uh, giving you a program uh, to get you from ring rows to your first strict pull-up. Uh, a lot of people have a hard time getting their first strict pull-up just strength-wise. We do use the ring rows um, plenty to scale up appropriately, but we also want to set into place a program that will help progress you away from the ring rows towards the pull-up, which is what we all want. So, if you look close here, we have some lines based on the floor, directly under my set of rings here. Um, just refer to those for later. So, basically, um, you should pretty much you all know how to do a ring row by now. I'll just show you real quick what it looks like. Again, that's this movement here. Okay. And uh, if you've done it before, you know that the more you move your feet this way, the more resistance you're getting or the harder it is, the more you move your feet behind the rings, um, the easier it's going to be. So, um, so the line's a simple progression. They're about a foot apart moving forward and six inches apart moving backwards. Um, so, number one thing we want to get people doing is straight leg ring rows. So sometimes people will scale with the knee bent position and do ring rows like that. And when you're first starting, that's obviously uh, perfectly acceptable, but what we want to eventually get you to is where your knees are locked out when you are completing your reps. So you can see here my knees are locked out, okay? So we want, first want to get to a, you know, a straight leg position when we're completing our reps there. Then, using these lines, you're going to start at whatever is the easiest line progression for you. So maybe for some of you it's going to be this line behind the rings, but a lot of people I think can start on this line directly under the rings. So it's going to be a simple rule of thumb, and that is if you can do 10 reps unbroken at that line, you will then move up to the next line and, and practice there until you can do 10 reps unbroken at that line. Same concept, once you can do 10 reps unbroken at the se second line forward, then you're going to move forward again to the third line where you're going to work until you can do 10 reps unbroken there. Any farther forward than this third line is acceptable, but it gets a little weird. You're going to want to either put like a small bench or a box up for your feet to elevate, otherwise you're going to end up pulling the rings towards your face. Once you can get your feet beyond the third line and get 10 reps unbroken, most people will have the raw strength to get their first straight pull up. Okay? So, a couple different ways to implement it. Number one, obviously, is just maybe in an open gym or on your own before or after class. We're working a couple sets of 10 reps, like we talked about, starting at the, you know, the closest line and working our feet forward as we go. Also, in Metcon, right, this comes up a lot. Uh, we use ring rows instead of pull-ups in Metcons. Don't just constantly put your feet directly under the rings and do all your reps there. Just start trying to walk your feet forward as you go through that Metcon. And just lastly here, this is a small side detail side note here. Obviously, we don't have lines under every pair of rings. It's a pretty straightforward concept though. All you gotta do is start directly under the ring it's one foot, the length of my shoe is about one foot forward, is that, that second line. So if you're working on that second line, you're just going to go one heel to toe forward and set up there. Same concept, going to the second line as well. Okay? So there you have it, a nice little program for you uh, to take you from ring rows to strict pull-ups. Thanks.